searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing another episode in my Weapons of Subsistence series. Today we want to talk about ammo. Now ammo is typically specific to a particular weapon. Some ammo types are shared. So your standard 9mm ammo obviously goes in your 9mm pistol. It's rather cheap to make, doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's rather plentiful on the map. You usually end up with a, a good stockpile. Your 20 gauge shotgun ammo. This is once again bread and butter. Um, this is something that it costs more. At a distance isn't worth it, but up close and personal, shreds. Shreds everything. It's really nice. Upgraded shotgun with this is really good. The rifle ammo. It's 7.62. It really should do a lot more damage than it does, but it's rather expensive, in my opinion, for the damage that you're doing. But once again, long range with something that has a head hit box and you can hit them in the head this should kill them one shot on an upgraded rifle it's it's still nice your 44 ammo this is a stopping ammo this can this can do a lot of damage it's dwarfed by my favorite weapon but if i have to pick a gun that does good damage at range now the 44 is probably one of the better ones because it's it's faster firing than let's say the double barrel shotgun. Now, your shotgun slugs, it can only be used in the double barrel shotgun. The double barrel shotgun can use the shotgun shells or the slugs. The shotgun shells, once again, it's an up close weapon at range, the damage is spread out too much, but the slug gives you the ability to do that damage at range, not as far as say like a rifle round, but respectable range and still do the the damage of a 20 gauge shotgun not if you get him in the head directly but it, it, like i said this is situational it is spreading this is a, a metal slug to the face i still think that that double barrel shotgun should do more damage the only problem is our mining hunters down in the cave use these and if we get more damage on it so do they and I've had these almost one shot. Well, not one shot. Probably it took half my health. And that was on my upgraded character. That's another, that's a, uh, a comment for another video. My standard arrows. I use this basically with the regular bow. Once I get the recurve bow, I'll still use these to pull to, to you know, if I want a chicken or a rabbit easily, I don't want to try to chase them or something like that. Uh, you know, messing around at a long range shot to the head with the recurve bow, this can still kill. Premium arrows. Oh my God, with the recurve bow and level four, these arrows are mwah, awesome. And then the grenade tipped arrow. These can be really fun. Uh, they can do a lot of damage to both structures and people. They are affected by the weapon damage. So a fully upgraded recurve bow gives 80% more damage to what a grenade tip arrow can do. Once again, making this probably the most devastating weapon of mass of, uh, mass effect in this game. Um, a weapon of mass uh, destruction. MWD for subsistence. Grenade tipped arrow. Oh yeah, too much fun. And I love the sound and firing these things off. And that's basically the, the ammo. I mean, there's not a lot to go into it. Um, we can look at crafting the ammo. Um, your regular arrows take nails, sticks, and feathers. The 9mm, like I said, one ammo casing, four gunpowder. Shotgun cell is 6 and 15, gets expensive. 6, 16, and 2 for iron fragments. Your rifle rounds, uh, once again, it's not too bad, but it's four ammo casings and 10 gunpowder. And the 44, 5 and 12. And then if you're going to do premium arrows and grenade tipped arrows, you have to come to the workbench for that. Premium arrows don't cost any mass or power, but take scrap metal, one iron fragment, one crystal, ouch, one premium feather. Premium feathers 
you have to catch a chicken, raise it to either level 3 or up to level 10, and you can get premium feathers when you harvest them. Grenade tipped arrows takes a premium arrow, a grenade, and two pieces of cordage. And you, know, you have a grenade on the tip of an arrow. Oh, Rambo would be so proud. All right, guys and gals, that's my time for today. This was a look at the ammo and subsistence. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.